Hello and welcome to day 2 of the Valley Run. Today is Sunday, the 13th of November and it is open category day for the bikes and the cars. So whatever is going on the drag strip is pretty dream worthy. GTRs, um, M2s, M5s and a lot of stuff. Even a caterham is here today. So as you can see, we've got our runs all over yesterday and today is our day of fun. Our cars are filthy sitting in the parking and uh, we are just roaming around, looking at everyone, chilling with everyone, having good times, good talks and meeting you guys. So let's go on and do exactly that. Since all of our runs were completed on the first day itself, it was a chill day for us to check out all of the cars at the strip. And well, I did exactly that. Big shout out to Bridgestone India for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the Valley Run. Now you must already be familiar with tyres like the Balance B series or the performance oriented Potenza line of tyres or even the comfort oriented Turanzas. But Bridgestone has now come out with an all new tyre specifically designed for our Indian roads. The Bridgestone Cerdo comes with some state of the art tyre technology. Stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements, a double ply construction wall and 3D tread for optimum grip, better safety and all weather usage. What is more impressive is that the Sturdo, compared to its competitors, has 29% more tyre life and when it comes to designing this tyre, Bridgestone India took into account the usage of the average Indian consumer and this tyre is specifically made for our Indian roads. So if you're looking for a tyre which has amazing grip, all weather usage and amazing comfort, the Bridgestone Sturdo is the way to go. While all of us were enjoying the supercar runs, I got a call from our friends at Autofly to park our cars along with them in the shade. But due to all of the dust, I needed to tidy up my car a little bit. So I'm just quickly cleaning my car because apparently we've gotten some special parking spot or something like that. So standing here in the dust, it's gotten filthy. So I'm just trying to remove some of the dust because apparently there are a lot of photographers and stuff over there. So, trying to get the car a little bit cleaner so that, you know, photos look good. Let's head down to the parking and meet some of our fellow YouTuber friends. So we are at KS Motorsport stand and I just spoke to the owner Param of this E46 LS swap drift car. So this is pretty wild, it has a stock LS with high lift cams and pretty much it's all been designed for it to go sideways. Uh, it's got fat brakes at the front slightly smaller brakes in the rear so that the slide happens with the kick it's got a sequential gearbox and it's got a hand handbrake it's got a hydraulic handbrake so it is pretty much 
very hardcore and the most amazing part of it is that it's all made in house at KS Motorsports from the mount all the way up to any auxiliary parts apart from the block and that is something that is really impressive as i was jumping around with curiosity around the car i came across the head engineer for the build vedant and he was kind enough to tell us all about this sick drift build so i am at ks motorsports stand with vedant patil the head engineer of this beautiful e46 uh e46 drift car which has been completely built in house over a year it has taken for ks motorsport to build it it has taken over a year and every single part apart from the block has been built in house it's crazy and i've got the head engineer to explain to us what all does it do so let's talk about power first uh, so in terms of power this is a cam del s3 it is running around 460 to 470 horsepower this is a high lift cam so hence it has the very old characteristic gm chuck that does that idle block block yeah and when it comes to power train have you changed the gearbox the gearbox is a trimac t56 it's a straight brand new gearbox from trimac it's a 6 speed manual and uh, it's a very you know robust gearbox for a gm motor you can get straight from gm uh, trimac 0 km same with the engine a crate engine 0 km run straight fit new and when it comes to drifting and uh, the dynamics of drifting what is different in terms of like if you want to set it up for a race or a track day and you want to set it up for it to be going sideways what difference do you actually see like in the front or in the rear what changes do you make so right now uh, our aim was here was chassis seat plus improvement so this is still a street car this was a street car and uh, e46 sedan uh, which was so we did was chassis and stand through where uh, the roll cage that you see around has been made in such a way that it is uh, countering all the hard points of the chassis your subframe mounts your engine mounts your strut tars all of those are reinforced so is your underbody then uh, in terms of suspension geometry right now we are running an uh, aftermarket uh, drift kit or an angle kit where we are getting more steering angle the rear is currently stocked with uh, polyurethane bushes we can right now we are good enough or comfortable with drift setup where the suspension geometry in such a way that it is aiding drifting this car has done drag races before where it has run 12 mid 12s uh, with a proper geometry like this is still a work in progress we are still to design our own custom suspension geometry which is in works that we can use both for drag which is not the uh, aim of this car and drifting that's amazing it's a lot of work and as you can see he knows what he's talking about we are going to be mostly doing a walk around build of this car very soon on our channel and look out for it so thank you so much vela thank, thank you so much thank you so, so much. insightful lovely build i'm looking forward to seeing much more from you Drag racing is over. Now it's time for the drift scene. We're going to keep looking at the drift. And thank you so much for watching. This has been a great run, a great series, and hope to do it again soon. We're maybe going to be doing more events in terms of drag racing and showing and showing up for you guys. So hope to see you guys on the track strip anywhere in India. And take care and peace.
And just like that, one more year of racing at Ambi Valley comes to an end. Just like our previous years in this competition, we produced some great results. And that's mainly thanks to the amazing sponsors and partners that we have. First and foremost is Bridgestone India, who enables us to take on such amazing projects and giving their back and support. Second is none other than Auto Desert Performance with their tunes, mechanical support and expertise in motorsport. And last but not least, Downshift Store with their quality clothes and merchandise for our whole team to wear. And lastly, our in-house TDH team and our friends. We cannot thank you all enough. Thank you to everyone who watches this series and hopefully season 4 is right around the corner.